Hey guys, me Ryan here with a review on the 8128 Cabane Speeder, ages 7 to 12, and 318 pieces. Like a logo, uh, the new Captain Rex logo thingy, the minifigures. Yeah. Huge $50 box, and 318 pieces. This thing is so light when you're picking it up the features and um, the back of the box and the other sets. They had all the sets at Target except of course the at, -AT and the mid-scale Star Destroyer because those are exclusives to Walmart and Toys R Us. Put the tripod back up. Um, the instructions are about 50 steps and um, like 33 pages, 35, 36 of building and then some stuff in the back. But nothing new, actually. Um, sorry. First, you get the assassin droid. Um, same as in the battle pack, so not very rare. And they called him the assassin droid, not an elite assassin droid. Uh, seeing as there is a Senate commando captain, I would expect him to be an elite, but uh, that's okay. Don't really care about that minifigure. Um. You got the Senate Commander Captain, um, very nice. Got the um, white markings. Uh, I love these guys. I didn't get the Venator yet. If I do, I will get it as fast as possible. Um, as you can see, the um, this is the normal Senate Commando. The uh, black strip goes all the way to the end. Um, on this one, it does not. They really just need it to focus. So they are a little different. Um, most people don't notice that. Here you get Sahana Alama, something like that. Like a here's a llama. <laughs> it's like a llama guy. Okay, he has a very nice face and um, the double-sided torso, double-sided um, head. Uh, I will show you the guys from the pirate tank. Um, they're not exactly the same. Uh, so just give me a second. All right, let's put it here. We got Hondo and we got this other guy. So I'll show you them. So here is this other guy's head. As you can see, it's not the same. Try to get it to focus. Not the same. The back. And Hondo. Again, not the same. the back. So those are different than him. So it's great to see another new figure. And of course the infamous Cad Bane. I wish he would have had the smaller blasters like in the turbo tank but he didn't. They did a really good job on the um, detailing for the torso. Um, it's not double sided. Uh, so yeah. His hat is smaller than I thought. Like because on camera it looks pretty big. But it's not that huge. It is pretty big, though. Uh, the face detailing. I don't care about that thing coming across the front. He still looks nice. But, uh, yeah. And a uh, special shout-out real quick to um, Lego Man 7777 If you're watching this, please comment below. Um, you can find the link to his channel below in the description. And please subscribe to him. Um, yeah. So, onto the speeder. Uh, you can take, like, the blasters... And uh, this is like one of the few features it has. Take the blasters and um, flip this up. And you can place them in here and then take the assassin droids blaster and place it in there. And it does kind of click into place. Then up front, in here, got the only thing that's not a sticker is the control panel. And um, that's not a new piece. And then I like to take Cad Bane and have him drive. So I'll put him in the seated position. And you just stick him in there. I found it funny that they used a steering wheel. Because, you know, you don't really see that because it's Star Wars. They did. They used white chairs in the front and four dark gray chairs in the back. Um, very nice set if you want the chairs for the value. But uh, other than that, definitely... Um, you can take this guy, you can put him just about anywhere. Um, I don't really prefer to put him up here, but I will. 
Actually, I don't even like him in this set. Wish that would have came with a different, um, like, pirate guy or something. Let's take his gun off. Um, in there. He's kind of weird because he does have, like, a C-3PO arm, and then the rest of his body is pretty normal. It's like a robotic army has. You can place him back here. You can also place the guns if you wanted to. You could take them and place them right into those slots and like that holds the gun. It's got nice detailing in the thing itself like where it can hold up to four uh, little controls or whatever it is like drinks. Um, it's around 18 pieces. I mean it does have a lot of stickers but I think it was worth fifty dollars. Um, certainly. Um, some people say it looks like a whale and it does. Um, you can't really deny that. Mm. Got like the little engines down here. And then the final feature is these little cheapy flick fires. And that was just a little push. I went about that far. Now I'll push it harder this time. Didn't it hit the guy and died. But uh, yeah. Um, great set overall, um, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 because the price could be at least lowered to 45, 40, 35. Uh, I don't see why it's 50. Um, they do have the good printing, but I, that's not a reason to make it 50, especially when you use stickers on the whole set. Um, everything is a sticker except that little control panel I showed you. And this always flips up when you go to hold it like that. But uh, overall, 8 out of 10, um, it's pretty good. Definitely wouldn't buy another one. Well, it is kind of a thing you shouldn't buy another one of. But, yeah, um, one last look at the speeder, the underside. And, yeah, um, definitely recommended. Um, pick it up at your local Target for $49.99 U.S. dollars. Uh, and um, check out my other videos and subscribe for more of the 2010 reviews. Uh, thank you and good. Oh yeah, it does have a little light. Thank you and goodbye.